hello everyone this is MP again so today I am going to make a video so in this video I'll uh, so what we have to do like in the in my last video in advanced 2 I uh, showed you how we can get a random uh, string of data so in this video I'll show you uh, we will put that random data in the text box field and we will generate a new uh, we will generate like a lot of new data so let's so our aim is like when we will click product uh, this window will pop up and then we will click on new product and then uh, we will add a new category so in new category after adding like any uh, string value we are gonna add it and then uh, we will uh, keep adding like more values and eventually we will also fill uh, this information uh, categories name description quality price so this information we will also fill with the help of that uh, random string data so let's get started so uh, here I already uh, uh, disable these further steps so if you haven't seen my videos before I recommended you like please watch my video and then you may have a better understanding so in this one like we gonna uh, uh, open the product window as I showed you and uh, then we gonna click it and we gonna go to here in order to do that uh, I made a function which is going up to open the product window and then like after uh, completing our operation we gonna close it so so in my function window I'll what I will I'm going to do I will I'll make like some general function so like I will make a general function for the button so that for each button I can use the same function again and again so that we don't need to write like a button code for each and every button in the application so let me do that so I already made this function so what is happening in this function I uh, made it like as a win button type of a uh, method or function so in which I am passing a win control like as its parent window and uh, a string value of like what is the property name and the name is uh, we have to see like if the name is a uh, property type is name then we gonna pass this value from our our coded UI test class and here if the button is existing then I'll just clicking it and then I am returning that button uh, to the main method to see like if we have to uh, do some other operations so it is always good to return your button because there is no harm like if you are not using it further that's okay in that case as well so let's uh, uh, see the values what is uh, okay let's So now I have to click on this one so so these are the properties and values so this is like kind of uh, could be the parent window this can be the main hierarchy is coming up and eventually I will also teach you like how you can uh, make the hierarchy and we will just define it once and then we can make it reusable all the time alright so let me write this code because I don't want to uh, get this window too longer uh, and I will explain you how I did that so here guys I want to show you like I am I'm, I was trying to uh, make a generic control uh, code for the uh, win window but here I'm seeing like uh, I have to pass like uh, different properties here I'm passing name property type but here I have to pass like different property so in the in the win window we can pass like I am uh, using another parameter win window and here I am 
uh, I have to change the name like uh, it's a control name control name so we have to uh, change this one oh it's already been changed okay when we can give a different name when uh, control name and this is we gonna pass here so eventually we I'll show you like how you can integrate these uh, functions uh, in a one method but for now we gonna give a different name to this uh, window if you have more parameter then in that case it like override it have like uh, override that function and you have more parameters and more options when you trying to pass the window I'll, I'll make another video on that for specifically where we gonna uh, see how the functions are working so guys here I'm passing uh, the control name in this window and we have to make it a variable of this one uh, what I can say it like uh, product window equals to this and uh, here in my button now I have to say like uh, the name let me pass it as a string name and uh, we have to see where it is taking the other parameter it is the first parameter it is taking the parent window so what we gonna pass here we can pass this product window all right so now uh I guess it will it should click it all right let's try to run it so in this way we can uh, make it possible right now I'm like not concentrating on the you know main structure of the code but eventually I'll I'll show you how we can do that so it happened in another window so which that's why you are not able to see but yeah it's, it's working so now let's move further all right guys so um i think i achieved till this point where it will comes to this point and then and now we have to make a function where it will uh, send the values from that random function all right let's uh, go that and do that so in my function i uh, made a uh, function for the win edit so what it's doing it's a type of win edit and uh, it is taking the parent window and then the value which we have to send and the property value so which is the property value of this uh, win edit control so i hope it will satisfy this window and then after identify that uh, text box we are sending the values uh, so this value is uh, coming from uh, this parameter all right so let's call that function my function dot win edit control and uh, now it is taking like three parameters first it will take parent value so parent value is the same one parent value is the same one add new category yeah it's same one all right so second parameter is the sending value so uh, as you know that in my previous video we made this function random function which is giving random values so now uh, we have to call this function over here and it should give a random value or what we can do instead of this one I don't think we should do like that okay let's comment this out and just copy this code 
and we can put this code here so this will uh, get the uh, custom value of that and next thing is the property value of that text box so what we gonna do it's called uh, I think we have to make another instance uh, see this is our uh, this is like the application is like that in e for each control it has its own uh, window so firstly we have to uh, make instance of this window and then we will get like edit type of control all right let me do that so all right guys so here i am giving the i make instance of that window and here i am giving this now i am passing this as its parents window all right and uh, here we have to pass like what is the control type now i have to generate another function for the win edit because here we are passing like name and in the other one we have to pass it like uh, control type control type so yeah so we have to use this instead of that one so here we can change it to two and uh, now we can pass it add it so which is this control okay so I hope uh, this will work now all right let's uh, let's see let's run that I want to drag this here so that you can see it all right oh look like something went oh no it happened all right so we gave a random string name okay so now we have to press like add button and then uh, we will continually uh, we can continually repeat that okay so it's working yeah all right let's uh, do that let me do that okay guys so i added that code and uh, then i am clicking on add button so let's see if it's working or not all right <coughs> i hope it will work ah it's my mistake my mistake actually i wanted to drag the window but all right now it will okay so now you can see it is adding a category all right so look like it's working good so similarly we can add like more data wherever you want with this uh, function so which is very useful and uh, you can watch my advanced second video to see like how to make this function possible so thank you very much guys in next video i'll comes up with another thing thank you very much bye bye